welcome back to my channel so we continue on uh, audi s5 we this winter we gotta use the different turbo setup as many people knows for the past year i went through uh, all kind of hybrids uh, starts from chinese uh, turbo systems kind of replicas you know, uh, 80, I mean, 48 millimeter cold side and uh, stock original. That's what I had before. Junior bearings. It was good for turbos. Use it for like uh, three, four months. Then I decided to step up with the 50 mil cold side and original hot side uh, ball bearings. It was pretty good turbos. Use it for another like four, six months. I still have it over there in the backs. They all, they seems still good so i maxed it out those turbos as well so i decided to go with the even bigger hybrids with the upgraded hot side um gt kind of g25 550 and 660s so for to fit that you gotta mill the exhaust uh housing for those turbo and it needs to be done nice neat job with the transitions of the impeller like you can't just cut it the hole you gotta actually do shape of the wheel and um yeah 550 was pretty good turbos i enjoyed but i blew them up really fast because 100 percent to recycle they boost up up to 39 psi and drop about 35 by 7500 rpm 7800 rpms so they they hold like 35 psi Car made good power. We did the nine second full weight, and yeah, when I jump back to the six sixties, it's sluggy turbo. Don't make any power more than five fifties. So it's time to go for something else. So I was actually <laughs> before I do that, I was planning to go with a single. Long long time ago, I was actually thinking about it. But unfortunately, I was, you know, let's try the hybrids first and then we'll see. I like hybrids. They're pretty awesome for the daily use. If you use the car for the daily driving, it's going to be a perfect turbo setup. Stay, uh, 50 millimeters cold side, TS1 replica, ball bearings. It will be best setup for this engine. You can make a good power and it's reliable turbos. Like I said, I got them for over there uh, for uh, I think it's like five or six months. And um, I was totally happy with it. Uh, spools up early, a lot of torque, perfect for daily use, no complaints. But uh, as you know, I'm racing the car, especially I love their race motive events at the Pocono Race Park. And it's uh, almost half a mile run. So I would like to squeeze a little bit more power tap end. Uh, we can do nothing with this because this is the Ill limited factor of this uh, turbos. The hot side. AR, it's too small to push with the bigger turbine wheel. So there's just physically you can... Uh, push exhaust um, to the housing so only full frame turbos I was kind of thinking think about 550s G25 550s original full frame turbo but fortunately it's just not enough room over here and it's too much uh, too much fabrication with the coolant oil lines charge pipe and the rest of the stuff so the single will be a lot more, less work to do and it's really quick change so if i want a smaller turbo i can go smaller or bigger no problem i can done this probably like less than an hour with my setup and uh what else yeah we got the class and manifolds from germany they work very well so we gotta keep them and uh my turbo choose choice was uh pulsar 
43, uh, 43, 45, or 45, 43. So, seven, uh, oh, sorry, 75, 40, 73. So, 75 mil mils hot side and 73 mils cold side. This is the kind of replica of the G42-1200. Uh, many people use the Pulsar turbos, they're all happy with, no issue. We go with the T51R housing, I mean the uh, upgrade, which is, should make nice whistle sound. I had that before when I have P6, it's really cool. Um, the hot side. It took me a while, I, I mean, from the beginning I was planning to do the V-band because it's less piping and it's much easier to fabricate this kind of job but then I decided to go T4 divided because I want to spool the turbo with them first as possible and and the end I decided to go just T4 open flange the reason is to use the T4 divided housing uh, most likely you must fabricate your exhaust piping correctly with the pulse of the uh, pulse of the firing uh, oh. exhaust how do you call it I forgot the, the fire order so you have one like a let's say bank one bank two so you gotta do by fire order same as the BMW M5 4.4 engine uh, if you're interested you can find it online the way exhaust is built up they have a twin scroll turbos so, in my case, I, that, I don't think so it's going to do any better with the twin scroll housing because it's not uh, going to be in the fire warding the way I want it because of the manifold like this. If I want to do the like, proper flow of the T4 divided, you got to mix the cylinders. As far as I remember, three fire order, three, five, and seven and some other cylinder maybe two so you gotta click to the bank one of the t4 then you do exactly the same thing one uh four six eight to the other side of the t4 i mean it's just off, off my head so you guys understand what why i decide to do not do the t4 another reason uh most like it my um uh, Wastegate will be locating in this area, so I'm gonna cut it. Um, I'm gonna cut the housing, well, the probably 45, something like that, and I'll keep my wastegate around this area. I saw that uh, Malacca's Motorsports, we are six guys, brothers, they did an awesome job, and it seems like it works perfect. And I see other people doing that. The dual, I don't have a spacing in the back of the engine bay. You see how back is over there, right? I have to fit the down pipe. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my plan. Angle the turbo this way because we need more room for the down pipe. Most likely it will go down right away. And then we're doing the almost 180 degrees other side. Of the engine base so my down pipe will not go this way it will go towards that way all around and back down there that's how we'll probably gonna do it and uh like i said this gate is gonna be here we get a pipe back to the down pipe closer as possible for the better flow uh, with the pitch and everything yeah so mm -hmm. this tube will drop a little bit down i just did that because Amount, uh, amount my uh, flange the way I want it. This one we gotta cut it, uh, plug. This one we gotta use for the fit, cooling fit for the turbo. Anxious inside here, and this is the return we gotta go in, in the black over there. So yeah, we have to do some modifications uh, on the car. And uh, that's it so far. Um, I think I said everything I want. This will be probably part one. So I'm gonna start disassemble this, cut him there off, 
put in that engine. This is like my makeup engine for the turbo. That's my customer engine actually, which is gonna have the single turbo as well. And I have another car, RS7 with a single turbo. So three cars pretty much gonna be doing. I would like to done my car first and plus tuning. So I'll learn a little bit more, learn the mistakes. And the tuning wise, I would like to do on my car first. And um, yeah, I'm very excited for the power goal on this. Uh, how it will respond, how it will be on the street, how it will be in the racing. So I'm hoping for another 100, maybe 200 to the wheels on the top of those hybrids, whatever I make, probably 800 close to 800 so 900 950 i will be happy if i'm gonna have nice power band with the 950 to the wheels closer to the thousand i'm gonna be super happy and long as she runs nine seconds mid nine seconds any day that will be awesome um and the hybrids my best time was a quarter mile full way the way this car right now nine six 145 mile per hour and my best 6130 was 5.1 so this is the best ever time i had in the hybrid turbos full 85 with the port injectors and uh, i have plenty plenty more room left for the fuel so definitely gonna be enough for the pushing that guy and uh yeah sorry for the mess i have a lot of crap in my garage <laughs> Doing uh, a lot of things at the same time, so I'm uh, gonna try to do my car as fast as possible. And uh, if you guys are interesting to see or do you want me to make other videos of the progress, let me know. Otherwise, I just don't want to spend my time with the tape uh, record, uh, make a video blog of that. If, if people don't want to see it, what's the reason to me? To do it if people would like to see it no problem comment and let me know all right i'll see you guys in the part two i guess when it's gonna be everything in that block okay peace